Hey everyone, Tech Dad here. Today I am very excited because we are going to be unboxing the new iPad Mini 7. I'm really excited about this device. It's got the new A17 Pro chip in it. It's also equipped to be ready for Apple intelligence, so I want to try those features out on this little guy. I chose the blue color, at least that's what it says on the website. It looks more like a turquoise or a mint green to me, but we'll take a look at it. I haven't seen it in real life yet, so. All right, let's open her up. All right, I'm super excited for this. Let's go. And so so the packaging is really nice. It's got the uh, little pull tabs now. They're trying to get more eco-friendly at Apple. So let's just rip this guy open. This is the 128 gigabyte, which I think is going to be plenty for an iPad like this. I'm not going to be editing a whole bunch of video on this, I don't think. Not going to be filling up the storage very much. It's got the A17 Pro chip which of course came in the iPhone 15 Pro. I was a little surprised they used a phone chip for this, but that's okay, it's still a powerful chip. Let's see if we can get this lid off here. There we go. Okay, it's wrapped beautifully as always. Apple always does a great job with their packaging. slide it out. And there it is. Let's check out this color. You know, I think, I think it could pass for a blue, that's for sure. Definitely looks blue on the sides there, so I guess it depends on how the sunlight hits it. Man, it is beautiful to hold. I mean, that is just super sharp. What's great about the Mini is you can hold this guy in one hand, which what is the big appeal, right? So I've got the Apple Pencil right here. Uh, I'm going to be trying that out. This is with my larger iPad Pro, but I think it's going to be really fun to use on the iPad Mini. Let's see what else is in the box here. So we've got the normal paperwork. I used to love it when it came with the little Apple decals. Uh, they don't do that anymore, probably to save paper, save the environment. Okay, so it's got some little instructions there. So you'll notice uh, this one comes with Touch ID, okay? There's no Face ID on this guy. You're going to have the Touch ID, and it's going to be on the top button there. And so this guy right here is going to serve as your Touch ID. So still a good technology. I, I'd prefer Face ID, but that's okay. You'll notice the camera is also portrait on the iPad Mini. That's not the case for its big brothers, okay? The... For the Pro, the camera's on landscape. So this is probably better though to have the camera right here because we're gonna be holding it in our hand like this a lot. So yeah, I think that's good positioning. Has some other general instructions here for the Apple Pencil Pro. It can magnetically charge and attach and sync right there. Talks about control center and your dock and the app switcher, so. Okay, good little tip packet there. I don't remember them ever sending anything like that. It's nice to have some tips on paper. Okay, so next we've got the charging cable. Looks like it's probably a, a one meter, so a little bit short. And it actually comes with a plug. I don't even think they do this with the phones anymore. They don't provide this, so it's actually really nice that they at least give you this for the iPad. Get the packaging off of there. Very nice. Yeah, so it's nice to actually have a charger with the thing. Right out of the box. Yeah, this is probably a one or two meter cord there. So cool. I don't think there was anything else in here except the general, you know, legal work. Nothing to worry about there. And that's it. That's all that comes in the box. Let's go ahead and get the iPad mini turned on and get it set up and see what it looks like. I want to see this gorgeous screen that Apple's always known for. They're always great. This is not the OLED screen uh, that you get with the iPad Pro, but I think it's going to be a good screen nonetheless. So let's get it fired up here. Alrighty, this iPad mini is all set up. Let's go over some of the features that I am excited about. The first thing I definitely want to try out is Apple Intelligence. And so you can access Apple Intelligence by pressing and holding. 
and Siri will come up there for you. That's one way to access. You can also access Siri, I believe, by touching the bottom. Yeah, touching the bottom of the iPad and Siri comes up and you can type on it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so here I've got a note pulled up. You're supposed to be able to use Apple Intelligence to summarize and make some changes to text. So I've got some text here on global warming. Let's just grab it. And if you select writing tools, all right, so we can proofread it, rewrite it, professionalize it. Let's rewrite it and see what it looks like. Let's let it do some thinking. And all right, it has rewritten the text, okay? And the text that I had was pretty generic, and so it looks like it cleaned that up, left some bullets there. But other than that, looks a little more professionalized. Um, yeah, looks good, and that was within seconds. So that's really helpful on a device this size where you can't type out text quickly. Let's see if we can summarize the text, actually. I want to tap on it. Yeah, let's do a summary. All right, and within a few seconds, you've just got a couple sentences down here. We can hit replace, and boom. It's summarized. I mean, that's going to be really useful on a device where you don't have a keyboard and you need to type something quickly and get to the point. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to play around with that. I've got a link to a video in the description below about more Apple intelligence features on the iPad if you want to check that out. All right, so of course the next feature is Apple Pencil Pro, and so you should be able to do quite a bit. So I'm a math teacher. I teach math a lot. So I use my iPad a lot for teaching, and so let's just try it out here. Let's see what it feels like to draw. Let's see if it can recognize shapes. Yes, it can, so that's good. It also is supposed to have smart script. I think you can turn that on right here. Auto refine handwriting. Yeah, let's try that. Also gonna erase this little guy. There we go. So if we write down here, let's just put it on the ground. Smart script. And there you go. It's corrected, it looks great. Very sharp, very sharp. Man, Apple Pencil and this very portable iPad are going to be really useful, I think. A good pair together. I'll be doing a review on this iPad here in about a month or so, so I'll give you an update on how this feels. Okay, so we've got the Mail app here. You're supposed to be able to use Apple Intelligence as well, so we can write a new message. Okay, so we've got some text here. Easy to type this up with dictation. That's really simple. I didn't type in a single thing here, but you can also use Apple Intelligence to rewrite this as well. I'm going to put it as friendly. There you go, so it's changed the text, it's added some exclamation points, add some uh, different verbiage there so it sounds a little bit more friendly. I like that. I am gonna be loving testing out Apple Intelligence on this guy, it's gonna be really cool. I mean, I definitely gotta try out editing video with Final Cut Pro on this little handheld device. I mean, it, it's gonna be worth a shot. I'll take a look at it, maybe edit a simple project, so I'll let you know how that goes as well in about a month. Man, the form factor is great. I actually really like how portable it is. Holds in the hand easy. The color is good. I really like this color. I wanted something different. The pros don't come in any fun colors. It's silver or black. And so the other iPads often have these really fun colors that you don't get to choose from. Um, in the pro models so touch ID seems to work fine so if you click it there and you press and hold there we go it unlocks pretty simply and since it's so small that's easy to access in some ways that may be more convenient than face ID even so I'll have to test the camera out I, I do some recording on my iPad sometimes it looks like you can record in 4k and yeah 60 frames per second so i mean that's hard to beat recording in 4k on this little ipad i mean that looks that's going to look good i'll experiment with that as well all right so there you have it so i'm actually pretty darn impressed with this little guy so far um wasn't sure what i would think of it because i've been using the pro for about six months now and so i wanted something a little bit more portable and a little bit more for what a tablet is used for for like binging netflix or just surfing the web at night but i do want to try some uses for this like teaching and using the Apple Pencil to put some math problems up on the board. I think that's going to be really fun, especially with this portable size. I'm glad I finally got something with a different color. I am going to get probably the denim Apple case for it, uh, the smart folio, so you can stand it up on its edge. I think that'll be really useful. I get to add another device box to my collection back here. I'm going to place it back. There we go. Let me know what you think of this little guy. Um, I think it's a decent purchase. 500 bucks for this thing. You get the 128 gigabytes of storage, so not terrible. The same as the iPad Air, mind you. 
review, but $100 less. I'm going to play around with it. I'll give you a review in a couple weeks to a month. Yeah, we'll see what comes of it. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.